this is DLL Cool J with ArchCloud Labs, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to find main in a binary where its debugging symbols have been stripped. Today we're going to be taking a look at an ELF binary, but a similar methodology applies for Windows PE executables. So let's say the scenario is you have a lovely CTF binary, I have a pretty simple hello world binary loaded just for an example, and we're interested in beginning analysis. Well, where do we start? Maybe you find some interesting strings, maybe there's something called flag or something to poke around at, but when in doubt, main is usually a good place to start. However, in this case, as we see over with my symbol tree, I do not have any function clearly labeled main because this is a uh, binary with symbol stripped. So what do you do? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at um, our entry point of this elf binary. And at the top here, with this little overlay that I've got going on, we can see that the entry point through uh, read elf is telling us that it's at address hex uh, 1020. And this is specifying where in the offset in the binary that the entry point is. But what is the entry point of an elf binary? Great question. Let's go ahead and check out our Linux man page. Oh, so our Linux man page says that our entry point here is this is, or the yeah, E entry point, this is the member that gives the virtual address to which the system first transfers control, thus starting the process. If the file has no associated entry point, this member holds zero. Okay, so this is what's actually called before the program kicks off, and of course main is the main function that gets executed, but this is called before main. So where we clearly see entry uh, symbol in our executable. Let's go ahead and check that out further. I'm gonna go ahead and disappear this overlay. Fantastic. And if I go ahead and double click on this. So now at the entry function, we can go ahead and see that we have a handful of operations getting performed before a call. And right before this call, we see that we have this function uh, being loaded into RDI. Now, this function that's being called with an entry is called libc start main. Well, start main seems a little telling. Let's go ahead and refer back to our lovely band page to see what exactly that is going to do for us. And if I pop back on over, we can see that the libc main start function, excuse me, libc start main function shall initialize the process, call the main function with the appropriate arguments, etc., etc. So here we see that the first argument to libc, libc start main is actually indeed the main function. So we can hop back on over to Ghidra from there, take a look at labeling this function to make it a little bit easier to dive into. So just uh, jumping into the function here we can pop over to the uh, decompiler and just make life a little bit easier for us. So we see, hey, this is a function, looks like we have three other functions within it, we return zero. But as the uh, libc start main function just implied, this has to be main based on uh, the specification. So let's go ahead and relabel this. So we can do that with hotkey L and we'll just call this main. But we also wanna kinda of change the, the function signature type here to make it a little bit easier to parse. So typically, you know, with main you have uh, int argc for the number of variables that are getting passed to the main function, and int argv, uh, a char pointer to the uh, an array of uh, uh, arguments getting passed to main. If you see this as void, typically this means that there were no uh, arguments getting passed, and this is just Ghidra trying to simplify life for us. Um, however, we can go ahead and clearly we see there's no reference to that. We just see either integers or hex values getting passed as arguments to these functions. But we can go in here, edit the function signature, say we are going to return an integer, and also just override this if we so choose. And here I'll click OK. Cannot parse name argv. My bad, do a pointer. And there we go. So with that, we now have created our main. And we go back to the uh, entry function, we can see that within libc start main, we have main uh, specified here as the argument because we just renamed it, and then we can jump further. So that's a really quick crash course on finding main on a strip binary, elf binary. Uh, hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, leave comments below. Thanks for watching.